Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today I wanted to show you what a morning is like for Evelyn and I. As a young stay-at-home mom, this is all kind of new to me and I'm also part-time working and Charlie is working. A couple months ago we took off one of the walls on Evelyn's crib so now she has a toddler bed and she's only 18 months old but we thought that it was the perfect time for that because she's getting very independent she's choosing what she wants to do now and we follow a loose version of the Montessori uh, parenting styles so we firmly believed that if she had her bedroom set up so that she could initiate what she wanted to do when she wanted to do it and it felt more like a grown-up room to her that she would be able to find out where her bed is put herself to sleep and we wouldn't have to worry about any of that. So every morning, bright and early, between 7.30 and 7.50, she comes straight to our room first thing. I don't even have to set an alarm anymore. Usually when she comes in the room, she tends to cuddle, but today she just wanted to go straight into breakfast. She's also still breastfeeding, so if she does ask to breastfeed, this is usually when that happens. After she gets me out of bed, I usually make the bed, last one in the bed makes the bed, and typically it's me because Charlie gets up to get ready for work. And Evelyn is also really into jumping right now. So while I'm making the bed, she is jumping and jumping and jumping and jumping all over. And then she gets down and jumps some more just to get back up on the bed. I mean, she, she jumps on everything. She jumps off the couch, everything. Are we gonna make some muffins? Do you want muffins for breakfast? No. I don't typically eat breakfast anymore. Since we've slowed down on the breastfeeding, I'm not hungry in, in the morning anymore. And I've learned with intermittent fasting, it's actually better to wait for your body to tell you when you're hungry. So that's usually what I do. But Evelyn still needs to eat. This morning we decided to make muffins for breakfast. I really like letting her help us make anything she can. And these muffins were quick and easy. Being a toddler mom, finding quick and easy things and anything really to make your life more simple really helps. Usually we will pre-make all of our meals and freeze them or make um, make bulk meals like in the crock pot. These muffins were on sale 10 for 10 one day so we just stocked up on a bunch. We don't eat these very often but I thought it would be a good treat. Evelyn and I usually start our day with fruit. If I am hungry in the morning, I'll have a fruit smoothie. And I think I want to start eating some granola. But today I just start her with fruit. Strawberries are her favorite. She can even sign strawberry now. We're trying to learn 
more specific words because we have run out of all the sign language we know. My aunt taught us about baby led weaning and after researching it and really learning about it, learning everything we could about it, we decided that's what we wanted to do for Evelyn. So when she showed all of the ready signs, we just introduced her to anything that we were eating. Typically they're softer foods when you first introduce them, but we just went ahead and gave her anything that was on our plate. And when you start out, you only have to do, or it's only recommended to do like one meal a day. So because we did baby led weaning, I just cleaned the apple and the strawberries, cut them up, and let her eat them. While she's sitting there eating her breakfast, I still want to enjoy my morning with her, so we stay in the kitchen and I tidy up the kitchen until she's done eating. After everything's all done, then we go around the house and we give the pets breakfast. We have two dogs and a cat, and Evelyn loves to help out with all of the daily chores, and we really want to encourage it as a family activity. After feeding everybody, we go in and tidy up Evelyn's room. We like to let her pick out her blankets. She's really picky about what stuffed animals she goes to sleep with that night, and then sometimes in the morning she'll pull out her accessories or her books and take them to bed. So we just have to pick up and tidy. Something else I have found to be easier for us, and it makes our life so much more simple, is to actually just take showers with Evelyn. So after we have gone through all of our morning chores and tidied and eaten our breakfast, I'll start the shower and her and I will just take a quick little shower together. Today in particular, she was not done showering and she wanted to stay in the bath a little bit longer. So while she was taking her bath and playing, I did my morning skincare routine. Going along the theme of keeping things simple, I have a very minimal skincare routine. I usually wash my face in the shower, so afterwards I just add my serum, my vitamin serum, and I lotion to keep my skin nice and hydrated, especially in the cold winter months. It's Christmas. While I was doing all this, Evelyn also wanted to put some on, but I forgot to record it. Now that we're all clean and ready to start our day, I make myself a tea 
and I let Evelyn run around, watch a couple episodes of her favorite shows. Right now it's Bubba Guppies, but she also likes Tumbleleaf and Daniel Tiger, and I let her play with her toys that I've picked out for toy rotation this week, and we do the uh, naked method for potty training. We've been doing that since she was 12 months old, and she is so close. She can almost go on the, on the potty all by herself, and I'll sit here and enjoy my tea. And that's it. Thank you for watching the day in the life of a stay-at-home mom. I hope you guys enjoyed this. We'll see you tomorrow.